Uh, we're Joe and Karen Sober, and uh, we've been coming to Westgate since uh, about 2000. Well, we moved into the area from another state, so we were actively seeking out a church. And uh, we were looking for a church that preached the Bible, number one. Number two, our uh, two daughters were at school age at the time, and uh, we were looking for like good children's programs. And uh, we were also just looking for some place to have fellowship. And as it turned out, we had uh, a uh, evangelism explosion team came to our house shortly after we moved in. And we had just started going to Westgate, and they didn't know we were going to Westgate, but we had a nice chat with them and uh, kind of confirmed our acknowledgement that Westgate was a good place for us. And then it led to getting started in a small group, a life group, back in 2000 at that time. And that life group actually stayed together for like 18 years or something like that until most of us moved away. So God really worked things out back in the year 2000. Yeah, the vision for the for the church going forward for Unfinished, I feel like it's um, truly trying to, to mirror the Acts Church, reaching out to people, and just that encouragement that we we receive here at church to be those kind of people. I like the training of um, the interns, and because we were here through the Volsteads and the Bergevins, and um, them being here on staff, and then going out to serve, you feel more personally attached to the missionaries that are out there on the field. And so I think this program of having an internship with people coming in and learning here first and then going out into the field, whatever it would be, planning a church or out on the mission field, I think it'll give us some more, it's, it's a higher accountability in your higher uh, involvement, even though when it's not something that your hands are personally involved in, but you're, you're attached to those people, you have a face to go with projects that are going on around the world. I think it makes a big difference in how you are financially involved with them and personally involved with them. So. I like the fact that we set some priorities with the Unfinished Initiative, meaning the number one priority meaning paying off our debt. And I'd just gone through Financial Peace University, so I had kind of a feel for, you know, the fact that debt is a good thing to get rid of. I was part of the generation that took on the debt when we built that atrium, and I think it was the right thing to do. It's been a blessing to all, many, many people that have used it. But I'm also, I think it's our responsibility as being part of this generation to not leave it to the next generation. So I think it's the right thing to do and we think about our, our legacy and what we want to leave the next generation. I think we should strive to leave them debt free. And because we had those priorities, I thought, you know, this is one initiative that at least has got a road map. So in that respect, I could get behind it. We have a friend that's walked with Christ for a lot of years. And this individual said, this is the first time I've ever tithed. And seeing how that moved in their heart was um it's just a testimony to God's Spirit. That's a uh, real encouragement to know that the Spirit of God is at work in your congregation and that they're not just sitting there letting the words go in and out. So that was, I think, the most encouraging about the Unfinished Project. I think, I think the one thing that God is teaching me through the Unfinished is that it, it's more about trusting Him and He's more interested in getting all of me not what I give necessarily. You know, he really wants me to trust him with every aspect of my life. And that's always a challenge to, to give everything to God. But I'm kind of reminded of what Christ told us in Matthew 11, 29 and 30, where he says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And that's what I'm really trying to learn, you know, to walk like Christ did, although it's, it's very much a work in progress, 24-7. <laughs> but that's what he's taught me. It's not about money. It's not about giving. It's about giving my life to God.